All right, guys, welcome to another video. Today we are gonna talk about Mythic Dungeons and more specifically Mythic Plus 15. How you are going to become that Keystone Master you always wanted and get your awesome artifact skins. So I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks in the higher Mythic Dungeons and guide you through all you need to know to be a successful Keystone Master. First up, communication. It is really important to be communicating with your team and coordinating interrupt, CCs, stuns and whatever. Because that is what eventually is gonna get you through the higher levels where you can't just tank and bang through it all. What this boils down to is that you shouldn't just pop all your CGs and overlap them and have three guys interrupt the same target. That is a huge waste and very inefficient. For example, the big guys in uh, what is called Black Rook Hold that does the smashing things on the tanks. You really want to have them stunned after they start channeling it and not before. So let's say you um, have a guy or three guys trying to stun this guy here. One guy is not doing the right thing and waiting until they start channeling, channeling it and the other two guys just stuns him in advance. So A, he will start recasting it right after you guys have done your stuns. B, you are DRing the target unnecessarily. And C, you wasted a, a couple of stunts, which is bad. So the next point on today's list is keep calm, guys. Most of wipes and failed keystones on the higher level are caused by overpulling. A, by people or impatient DPS or perhaps a eager tank thinking, uh, we got a free justice, man. The timeless aren't so hard for one chest, which is all you need to get the achievement and your weekly chest, you don't even need one chest for that. So keep calm guys and just smooth sailing through it. It shouldn't be too difficult. This also ties into the communications thing. You really want to communicate which mobs you're pulling, which should get a sap or a sheep or a hex or whatever you want whatever you use, whatever you have. So this one here is mainly for the tanks. You really want to let your DPS know that I'm pulling these packs and I need a CC on this guy or that mob over there so that you don't pull too much and your DPS is knowing of what you can ha could have done. And this is what really one of the reasons why you want to use voice communication instead of text. The time it would take you to write sap on skull or star. It really is a lot easier to say this next pack up here will uh, go pull this and I need a sap on this guy. So in instead of you lose one or two seconds which might be the difference between actually making the one chest or Failing spectacularly. So this brings us into the preparation aspect of doing plus 15. So you want to bring lot of loads and loads of potions. Preferably some of the more expensive potions like potion of old war for the bosses if you're a agility DPS or something like that. And then more of the cheaper ones, prolonged power for the trash. So the thing is, the cooldown timer starts on the potions after you leave combat. So you want to pop as many potions as you can while you're going through the trash. This will speed up the time on your clear immensely. Personally, I think this is one of the more common mistakes that people are doing. Try to push the really high keystones 
Like they are so focused on their rotation and damaging the right mobs and interrupting and they forgot to use many of the potions which they could have used and they could have killed the trash a lot faster. And this leads us into the last part and probably the most important. And I know this is going, going to sound horrible to all of you gamers out there. Are you ready? Do your homework. It is incredibly important to plan out the runs and research and look up the tactics. Many of the tactics that most guys are ignoring on the lower levels of Mythic Pluses will actually maybe just flat out one shot you. So really guys, be careful and re read up on the tactics. And do let me know in the comments down below if you would like me to do some more detailed guides on the individual dungeons on uh, which pack to pull on the higher difficulties such as Mythic Plus 15. So you will have a great idea of what packs are good to pull and what you can skip and where you should use invisibility potions and stuff like that. And with that said, uh, this is gonna be the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. A huge shout out to the patrons for supporting me. I wouldn't be able to do this without you guys. So uh, thank you so much. And I hope to see you all on the live stream.